Hi everyone, welcome to Physics with Ben. Yeah, this is the a very authentic video on Wayek Physics 3 alternative A question number 3 uh, question number 3 current electricity. Okay. Yeah, there's something I want you guys to know in physics. The theory, the equations, and the experiments don't contradict. There are a lot of circuit diagrams flying on the internet. I also did one of the videos. And the video I did, which you guys are currently watching on current electricity, uh, that was the available circuit I saw. But I keep on doing my research because deep inside me there was something wrong and I believe that uh, there was problem somewhere because the experiment uh, was not consistent. The readings in my experiment were not consistent with the equations and the theory of potentiometer. Now, uh, I will show something that made me to bring up this as the circuit uh, diagram connection for this experiment. These are the equations that explain this experiment. In, the, uh, in your SS1, you were taught factors that affect the resistance of a wire. We have the length of the wire, we have the cross sectional area, we have the temperature of the wire, and the nature of the wire or the resistivity. And this is the equation that really them. Okay, from Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. And if you replace R in this equation, you have this equation. This equation implies that as the length of the wire is increasing, that is, as you are placing the jockey at different point 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, you are moving, the voltage will be increasing to the right. And at the same time, the current will be decreasing. So increase, 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 decrease so the length of the wire has uh, a direct relationship with the voltage and the length of the wire has an inverse relationship with the current so the length will be increasing to the right and the, and the voltage will be increasing from left to right on the voltmeter while the current will be decreasing from left from right to left on the ammeter and that is that. Good. Next up, the, a video I did, I did not see this trend. I was increasing my length and the voltage was decreasing and the current was increasing. Yeah, although the arrangement of the circuit may alter this trend, but one thing I want us to know is that in physics, the theory, the equations, and the experiments don't disagree. The experiments must agree with the theory. The experiment must agree with the equations. And for this experiment, this is the equation controlling it. So I set up this diagram, and that this is the circuit diagram which I, which I brought up. So this is the circuit diagram. Good. So this is uh, the key, and that is the key. So this is the key, and this is the key. And this is the plug for the key. Uh, this is the voltmeter. This is the voltmeter. This is the battery. This is the battery. This wire, this is the wire. This wire, this is the wire. Good. Now, this is the real start. This is the real start. From the battery to the real start. From the battery to the real start. The battery is the plus sign is facing this side. So, here, this is the point P. This is the point P. And so, there are three wires. This is one, two, three, four. Let's count one, two, three, 
and then 4. And this is the standard resistor whose value is conceived. This is it here. This is it here. And so, here this is the junction. This is the junction. This is the ju this junction here. This is the junction here. So this junction you have one, two, three, four. And one of the rope that moves out here is the jockey. And this is the jockey. And this is the jockey. So uh, the function of the of the real start in this experiment is for you, uh, you, you have to set up this and plug in the key and then you will you see you will see a reading that is a reading and this is a reading and so as you adjust the real start as you adjust the real start to the as you adjust the real start to where I'm standing you observe that the reading is increasing you see that it's increasing. It's increasing. It's increasing. So it has increased. There is the peak currents and this is the peak voltage. This is the position I have placed the real stats that gave me this reading. And so I I generated my reading. This this was my my analog reading. I did this analog reading and I got the trend of this experiment. This is my analog reading. So along the line, when I got to 50 and 60, the deflection on the voltmeter and the ammeter refused to change. The ammeter refused to decrease. I was moving to the right and there was no deflection on the ammeter. So that was why I put a star and a star here. So this was what I did with my analog uh, reading. So you can observe that as the length is increasing, uh, Based on this equation, based on this equation, increase in length, increase in voltage. So let's check it here. The length is increasing down, and if you check down, the voltage is increasing down. 0 0.7, 0 0.75, 0 0.75 repeated, and then 0 0.8. That was what I got. So the current is supposed to decrease. So 0 0.7, 0 0.75, 0 0.72. 0 0.69 you see that decrease so right here at this point the current the ammeter and the voltmeter refused to 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 to, uh, to display uh, yeah to to read so at this point i i brought in my digital ammeter and voltmeter i replace the voltmeter with this and i replace this with this so that was what i did don't forget that my peak current was recorded with the analog setup. This, this is it here. And then when I replace it with the digital, I got this reading. I got this reading. This is with the digital ammeter and the voltmeter. And you can see the trend. You can see the trend. I want to give credit to the author that gave me insight on this, uh, uh, Dr. Afolabi. I want to call you a doctor very soon, you become a prof. I don't know if you are a prof right now. Uh, the textbook uh, by Afolabi, this guy is a scholar. I discovered this uh, circuit diagram in his textbook. Yeah, and the circuit diagram and everything agreed with this equation. And that was what gave me confidence for this particular experiment. So I plotted my graph. I plotted my graph, the graph of uh, the, the graph of uh, the, uh, I over V against L inverse. And this was what I got. This is the graph. So you can screenshot this. Uh, this, this was the graph I plotted. And uh, you can see that the graph had an intercept on the, the vertical axis because uh, the trend was, uh, it was a decrease, decrease. So anytime you have a decrease, decrease or increase, increase trend, you may have this type of graph uh, from left to the right. 
so that is that for that so for the slope i calculated the slope and this was what i got now the units the unit of the slope end up to be ohm inverse dot meter because i have to convert uh, a cm to meters and that was what i got so invariably this slope is uh, looking like the the electrical conductivity of the material the slope resembles the electrical conductivity of the material and the intercept is 0 0.73 per ohm stay away from examination malpractice examination malpractice is a brain cancer that will destroy your brain i wish you guys success share this video and stay in peace uh, this video is recorded uh, in the AMs, so I'll uh, be, be civil with your comments and don't hurt me with your comments. I do this thing so that people will learn from this channel and they will stay away from examination my practice. So be civil with your comments. Let me see your comments, your observations in the comment section and uh, uh, let me see what the scholars are saying. And if this, what I have done is wrong, but I can tell you with my heart, with my chest, that I have tested this experiment, I have run it with this analog and with this, and I got the trend. And the experiment agreed with this equation. So to this, we have come to the end of this video. Bye-bye. I wish you guys straight A's in your exams. Stay away from examination malpractice. Disclaimer, this is not your re question, but just a sample one. Bye-bye.